time it is that you're watching this, but it's definitely a weekend for some camping. Remove a little bit of the week's stress, or heck, even the whole year's stress. I think COVID's now been, well, a whole year long. Anyway, that being said, it was time to sneak away for another camping trip. This time's a little different even. We're going to the beach, or actually even here now, going to the beach. And uh, yeah, let's show you what that's like from our view right at the moment. We are at uh, Sea and Sand. We've been here a few times. And we have the teardrop with us because they will not allow you to actually stay in a tent. Even though we do have a tent with us, we have a couple of them. But we have a view of the ocean, which is nice. Uh, normally we boondock, but this time we decided we wanted to see the ocean and have a bathroom, have power, just kind of chill for the weekend. So anyway, thanks for coming along on the adventure. Let's show you the setup so far. Of course, I brought the FJ and I brought the wife. She decided to come along with me for a change. Hello. She's chowing. We have butterflies on the ground. And we have the teardrop a little bit set up. Not really. We haven't kicked it in there yet. Yeah, we'll be cooking some dinner tonight, roasting some marshmallows, listening to the ocean. And again, thanks all for coming. All right, just decided to go for a little walk in this beautiful day. The sun was out just a second ago. However, much like the coast, you wait five minutes and things change. And now it's cloudy. And cold. And cold. No parking in front of RVs. Side. Not much of a beach at the moment. The tide's coming in. Yeah, the tide is coming in, that's for sure. Yeah, we're flying some kites there. Definitely a good day for that. Alright, it's about 5 o'clock. And we were just chilling inside watching the waves. But now... We're hungry, so it's time to make something to eat. And tonight, I thought I'd try making something different. I am going to take and make mini bagel BLTs. So I have some mini bagels. Gonna cut up some tomatoes while it's cooking. Let's see here. Got that. There we go. Bacon, of course. So that is what's going to be for dinner. All right, why is it that no matter when you're cooking bacon, oh my God, it smells great. I don't even care if you're hungry or not. Bacon, always good.
kind of nice. The cooler also works as a second kind of spot to work on. All right, last thing I got to do is toast the bagels. Well, of course, and then I have to put them together. Good morning. I'm wearing the mask not only because I'm filming but to keep me warm. It is freezing. The wind is just blowing so cold and hard. Last night was crazy. It uh, we had a wind storm, which we're still continuing, but it hailed and rained and downpoured. It's kind of beautiful this morning, like the sun out. You can see through my back, but boy. It uh, kind of nice out. to walk on. Not right here, not right now. The wind is blowing it in. It is just a crazy storm that we had last night. I don't even know if you can hear me over the wind. Oh, so much better to be back in the teardrop. It is freezing outside. It's like a wintry day, but with a uh, constant 30 mile an hour wind. Gusts up to 50 probably, I don't know. I don't have a wind thing. I should probably look at the weather map. Anyway, slept great though, because the sound of the rain just hitting the top is so nice. But at one point when it was actually hailing, that woke me up, because it just sounded like BBs were hitting the top of this so hard, and the wind was blowing it so hard. Um, the only time the bumper sticker that I get that says don't come a knocking when the teardrops are rocking. Well, that was just from the wind, unfortunately. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. I play that sound effect now. But anyway. Uh, around. I need to work on cable management. Right now we have a multi-plug right there. And it is a disaster. And I didn't, I've learned something. I want to drill a hole on my shelving to go through. Uh, oh, and the LEDs are bright, so we used uh, socks, my wife's socks, to cover up the LEDs because it was so bright in here with just a couple LEDs, and we just kept the battery in to charge just in case we lose power, we'd have that full, and it was charging some stuff, and again, more cables. That's probably my biggest problem right at the moment is cable management, but we're good. We watched a couple movies last night. That was nice. Had some popcorn. Had a great Jiffy Pop, one of those pan pops. <clears throat> right now I'm just using this LED light that I got at Walmart that also works as a the base as a wireless phone charger. Kind of handy dandy. Well anyway, good morning. We're not morning, looking for... Good morning, y'all. The, the, the blankets are talking. She's like cuddled up. I went outside for a while and let some cold air in here so it got down to... What is it? It's, oh, 62. Or not really. I compared to outside. It's again just gorgeous outside, but it's freezing and the wind is so cold, ice cold, like winter cold. Hey, well, not looking forward to packing up. We're gonna chill in here. Check out time is at 11 at the sea and sand, so we've got like three hours we can chill. I don't know if I want to go outside and make breakfast. This sounds awful, but the wind is blowing so hard. I might go do it elsewhere. I might go pull over and find a pretty spot where it's not so windy but being that this is right on the beach it is windy holy cow it came back the hail oh it got quiet there were marble sized hails just beaming down crazy
finally stopped raining really hard and windy. It's kind of nice out. Let's got a little blue sky, got a little sunshine coming through. So I thought it was time for breakfast. So we're making some. My traditional some sausage. Gonna scramble up some eggs. Gonna put them in some shells, make some breakfast burritos. And I always do like bringing up some tips. Actually, I better shuffle these around a little bit here so they don't burn. Oh yeah, those are starting to look good. Mm -mm -mm. Smell great. I was trying this for the first time actually, this camp stove. I refill my own uh, canisters and I go through a lot of these actually it seems. I don't know if it has a leak or what, but for the first one I use, I don't know, maybe it's this Coleman brand uh, for the other stove that I use and I still love it, but somehow I was going through canisters without using it that much. The first one I went through I think I used all summer long, but lately I've been going through a couple every now and then. Anyway, I like to bring up some tips and tricks, so refilling those is one of them, and I might show a little video of that, actually. Pretty simple to do. But one of my tips and tricks I've already, I already talked about, but I thought I'd bring it up again. It's so handy. I freeze these two liters, <clears throat> and I don't even have to. This is a powered fridge, but for weekend adventures, this will stay frozen for quite some time keeping my perishables just perfect, like my bacon, my sausage, and eggs. Also, the biggest trick that it doesn't do is when you buy a bag of ice and you throw it in a cooler, it all everything gets waterlogged. I don't care how many times I've tried, it always gets waterlogged. This way, the water actually stays in there, it stays cold, it stays cold enough in here, and it doesn't get waterlogged. It's okay if you have uh, pop cans or something like that, just that, then they're great, but you're just trying to keep your cooler. That's the way I do it. Those are just about done. Shuffle them around one more time. I gotta scramble up my eggs, so anyway, we're gonna eat breakfast inside the teardrop, because again, it's a little cold. I don't know, it must be like low 50s with a high wind. Okay, I've used the kitchen a few times. I know it's not done yet. I still haven't covered... I still have some foam showing there and there. And I still have to build a... Uh, a real kitchen counter. Haven't figured out what I want to make that out of yet. Going to. But I want to know your opinion. What things do you really use a lot in your kitchen for storage or whatnot? Because right now I don't have anything. It's kind of blank. I have a shelf up here that I kind of... It's actually just the other side of the other shelf that goes in, so it's multi-purpose. Just like these, these are the solid piece that goes through to the other side. And I thought I'd lay it out after I've really figured out what I need. And so far what I figured I needed, I need something that I can hang like uh, my utensils on. Something like that. Probably a paper towel holder. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but somewhere. That would definitely be helpful. Like I said, I like the cooler right here, and it uses the shelf underneath so that it makes it stronger, so you have a little extra workspace. I don't need a lot more. I kind of just like having it blank so that I can use it. If I'm making sandwiches, I can have just the whole thing out to make sandwiches. If I'm making something with the stove, I can uh, pop the stove up here. Like I said, right at the moment I'm using both stoves. I'm testing this because I refilled it just recently and it seems to actually work pretty well. Uh, very basic stove, doesn't even light itself, but that's what a lighter's for, so. And I do use my kitchen sink quite a bit. I have my garbage hanging out. I still gotta come up with a good solution for a garbage. I haven't uh, actually come up with that. Going to, going to. I've been putting firewood actually down here. Uh, I have it the firewood right at the moment <clears throat> holding down or helping hold down part of the tent. Don't know if that worked too well, but I also have it since it's so windy. I had it strapped on over there and over there on each corner, so it didn't go last night, even though we had huge amount of wind. So anyway, my kitchen. I have to do dishes now, but it looks like a total disaster. Total disaster. But as soon as I put everything away and do the dishes, it'll look much better. Good morning. Yeah, I forgot to bring the blow-up couch. That's the inflated bed. I thought that was the couch. 
beautiful out. Great place to stay if you're looking for a place to stay. Sea and sand. You wouldn't believe it after last night. Anyway, that's the old campsite. Worked pretty good. <laughs>